Hi everyone, it's Allison's Animals, and I just realized I really haven't done any videos lately of the boys in their cage, so I thought I would just do a quick video. Um, I guess the only update is that they're both doing great as usual, no, no issues, no major problems. And this is my Magic Forest print theme. And it's our little toy station. Most of that stuff is from Playtime Little Critter Creations. I've almost exclusively buy from her now because they just love her stuff so much. And if I do buy cozies now, I only buy from Valerie Zoo. Her stuff is stellar. It's amazing. So if I don't make my own, which I usually don't have time to, I will just order from Valerie. And I'm not sure what she's calling this yet. It has a removable pad, which is makes it last a lot longer, as you all know. And this is one of my favorite cozies. <laughs> I always wanted one of these for so long, and I wanted a pad at the bottom with it. So Valerie had made it for me, and I just adore it. Same with her... Um, I can't remember what she's calling it now. It used to be a cabana. I'm sorry, Val, I don't remember. <laughs> but these are so cute. And hers is so distincting. Like, you can tell it's hers. I know that there's a couple similar ones out there, but um, with her bottom, and it's a lot bigger, you can definitely tell that she was the creator of that cozy. And I just have various little um, forest animals around for snuggling. I have one right here from PetSmart. I believe that one's from PetSmart too. And that's just a little cheetah. And of course the tossabouts. That's the boys' favorite toys. At the end, the tossabouts look like... Let's see, I think I just saw one the other day. Yeah, this is what it looks like after about two weeks. <laughs> they love them. And this is a cozy that I got from my friend Inez. She has a shop now on Facebook. It's called Piggy Chic. And her stuff is really well made and it's so fluffy and soft. The boys just fit in there. It looks like they already did a poopy in there. And um, they just fit in there, and it's, I think it feels really nice for them to be enclosed and feel safe when they're in there. And this was just a toy that I won out of a claw machine, because I love doing claw machines, but the toys are always, I don't know, what am I going to do with the toy, right? So, it's in the boys' room. Another toss about. So yeah, that's just kind of what their cage is this week, and um, hopefully it'll last for a couple weeks, depending on how much I keep up with cleaning it. And this is their little kitchen area. I just changed it. The water bottles are right there. Just got to clean them and put them back in. And their hay hasn't been filled either, but it will be when I'm done recording. And, um, yeah, they've been doing really good. They love playing together. Um, I just missed recording uh, Beans. He was popcorning everywhere. He loves it when we change cages. He gets a new layout and new cozies. He will jump around and popcorn and zoom all over the place. So, that's about it. Um, I know you guys have seen Kyra lately on our videos because she's my little helper when I open things. <laughs> but you haven't seen the little boys. And they're doing wonderful. It has crossed my mind a couple of times to um, maybe adopt another little boy and just extend out this cage to the bookshelf maybe. That would give another, uh, I don't know, two by two space and then maybe do away with the paper bedding and just do fleece all the way around. I've been contemplating that lately but I don't know if I'm ready. I've never had to 
clean fleece so diligently like you do when you don't have a litter box. So I go back and forth on it, but it's been considered. So yeah, that's that is my update with the boys. Still super busy making some cozies. Um, I hope to get an Etsy, Etsy shop um, put up within the next week or two. Um, and I really, really am trying very hard to make pre-made items for the shop. Um, I think that it'll be a lot easier. You'll get it a lot faster. And I don't have to stress out about getting things done in a timely fashion because I'm really busy at my full-time job right now as well. So... But I always have to make time for everybody that loves their animals. Because that's what it's all about, is these little guys. <laughs> and your little furries as well. Oh, Scooter. See, Valerie, Scooter loves your little cabanas so much. Those are his favorite. He always does like a little rolly thing in there. I don't really know. He doesn't do it in any other cozy. He just does it in these. <laughs> like he's putting his mark on it and saying, this is mine. Don't touch it, Beans. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll be the end of our video. I hope everybody enjoys their week and um, has a good time watching this. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear them. And, yeah. You want to say goodbye, boys? You want to say goodbye, Scooty? Oh, thank you. Say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>